What's up guys? Welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis. Today we have a brand new, a brand new release from Emacs. This is the Emacs NanoHawk X right here. And this is essentially a little True X backyard ripper that you can fly on a single 1S 450 milliamp battery and get around four minute flight times on this quad, which is pretty nice. It also has around a 100 milliwatt VTX on board. It is resting just above the flight controller. We have an F4 flight controller with a built-in SPI receiver for D8. I believe it might have D16 protocol as well. You've got your USB port right here and also a bind button right on the flight controller on the other side, on the opposite side over here. If you put a, a little bamboo skewer in there, you can bind this up to your Tyrannus FR Sky radios. And we have new motors on this baby too. Aside from the unibody, we have TH, and these are Emacs branded motors, 12025, and these are 11,000 kV. Let's see if I can get that in focus there. That's pretty cool. Four bolts on the bottom here, two bolts coming in the box for the hardware on these newly designed Avon props. Super, super fast, and it does not fly like a tiny whoop. Forget about the tiny whoop. This flies more like a three inch in a a small space in the backyard, which is kind of crazy. And I think this one's gonna be a pretty good price too. Um, and you guys have to check out these new batteries. The new Emacs 450 1S battery HV with now guess what, XT30 already put on there for you. So you have better voltage with this battery and not as much sag. If you have a PH 2.0 connector, like come standard on these batteries, it gives you too much voltage sag when you're trying to run high voltage on something like this when you want some extreme performance. So this quad has all the performance on something like a three inch. We're just gonna take it out in the backyard now and we are gonna give it some full throttle. And we're gonna try to power loop some things back here, low to the ground, and we're gonna do some massive big power loops with this guy. So uh, we're gonna see how it flies in the backyard fast and slow today in this review. So enjoy the flight footage and we'll come back after that. We'll talk about this little guy on the bench and uh, what I think about the new, the new, new from Emacs. Here we go.
Okay guys, let's go ahead and set the quad on the scale. That's a dry weight without a battery. It looks like 44 grams. And with the one S450, it gets you up to 57 grams total takeoff weight. So well under 100 grams. And really not a whole lot heavier than what I was flying recently. You guys saw that little baby Nazgul. That was super fun. Um, and most of you guys are gonna ask me, how does this compare to the baby Nazgul? Well, I have to say that this guy is kind of kind of its own breed. It really doesn't fly anything like the baby Nazgul. I felt like the baby Nazgul is smaller and probably better suited for like some backyard, close in, really technical flying. Whereas this one, you can do backyard, sort of close in technical flying, but this guy wants to go big. It wants to go like three inch, you know, way up in the trees. You can do huge power dives with it. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy power loops it will power loop stuff low to the ground it will power loop larger things like the the overhang uh, off the back of the house which was crazy i've never tried that with any other quad before and this little guy was able to handle that and i mean how many times did we crash we crashed quite a few times didn't we um i crashed into a big tree on the far right hand side of the yard all the way down hit all the branches on the way down and i don't have any frame damage at all which is, I mean, you know, not super surprising. It is a really lightweight quad, but check out the new motors. These are the TH12025 motors. Again, they look pretty nice. Two bolts on the top, on the top of this prop. And those are not super aggressive on the pitch, which I like. That is nice. They have a nice wide cord in the center here and it smooths out to a nice smooth sharp tip and what that does is it gives us a nice quiet prop when it spools up but it also gives us a nice punch for punch out when we need it that power at the bottom of the power loop when we come back around that's when you need a lot of high throttle when you're coming back around and this guy didn't have a problem pulling out of even the steepest power loops coming back in so sometimes when you come in late you need a lot of power to just save it from bottoming out and I feel like this did pretty well with the performance of the XT30 on this battery. So that really kind of wakes this quad up. Now in stability mode for the beginners, if you're brand new to flying FPV, start out with this little guy in stability mode. Um, it does come in beta flight setup for uh, stability, horizon, and acro mode. So um, if you're flipping your mode switch, the third position down on your mode switch, which mine is always this one, all the way down, that's acro, and all the way back up. And I was also happy that they included a 100 milliwatt VTX. It is sitting just above, right here, just above the flight controller and the ESCs, and it is soldered down. Now, one other thing that's cool about this is that I did take the top off for you guys and do a little investigation underneath the, the hood for you, so to speak, and there is an S bus port on this flight controller. So if you want to add your own receiver on here, you can do that. And that's, that's really nice. You can add any type of S bus receiver on here. So, um, and I believe there is a 3.3 volt tab for spectrum guys. If you're running any of those older receivers, it should handle that too. So Futaba, Flysky, Spectrum, Tyrannus, and I'm not sure if you could put a TBS Crossfire Nano on here or not. I've never done that on this quad, but I was happy to see it when I pulled it out of the box that it did have an XT30 on here because flying 1S didn't get me super excited until I fired this thing up and took off. So um, the durability factor on this one is going to be a thumbs up. The flight fun factor is like two thumbs up. I mean, it's freaking so fun to fly. If you get this one, I suggest grabbing like five or six batteries. You're gonna to wanna to keep these in rotation because if you have a big backyard or one about the size of this one, you're gonna have way, 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 way so much fun. Um, and, and I would be careful with this one at the, at the park. If this one hit somebody in the face, it would definitely probably cut your face. So um, with the girls back here running around today, I was staying way up high and staying away from uh, any low level flying, uh, just to keep it away from the kids. So. Um, yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if your family is around when you're flying this one, just make sure you keep it away from the kids. Um, but otherwise, when you have a, a nice empty backyard, just go for it. And you'll, you'll have a lot of fun with this 
Let's open up the box real quick, and I'll just show you what comes in the box. Oh, look, look at that, guys. There's another one in there. So we have two of these. You guys think I should do a giveaway? Make a comment down below if you think I should. There is one of the connectors, and I believe I got two of these per box. And these are the extra props here. You get six of them in each box, which is nice. And you get some hardware, some standoffs, and an extra little tiny screwdriver, the world's smallest screwdriver. You guys have seen those before. If you've been on my channel for years, you've seen some of Emacs' releases, and they have a card in here that sends you over to Emacs tech support. So USA, Canada, and international QR codes. Pretty cool. So if you need to email these guys, you can do that. And you can check out their site. It's on emacs-usa.com. And international, they have a different site, emacsmodel.com. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So pretty cool. But you can check out my link down below if you'd like to grab one of these. And as always, so guys, if you grab one from my link, um, yeah, it benefits my family and helps the drone pants army grow a little stronger. And you also get Emacs stickers, which is pretty cool. Always cool to have some extra Emacs stickers. I'll stick those on my toolbox or out in the field. But anyway, guys, thanks for hanging with me. And uh, be sure to comment on this video, subscribe, and send us an email at dronecamps.com because we're giving away that Femi X8 Mini coming up in the first part of September. So stay tuned, guys. Be safe out there and happy flying, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Another fun review today. And we've got two of these, so who knows? Maybe I'll announce in the next video or so that we're gonna probably give both of these away to you guys. Uh, I don't think I need them, so I think you guys need them. What do you think? Thanks again, guys. Fly safe and be careful out there. Happy FPV. See you on the next one.